you hit me in the face. High five. Good girl. Last week, we got a dog, and her name is Bean, and she's great and affectionate. But you guys know what is really affectionate? You guys know what is kind of affectionate? Maybe not as much as dogs. Reptile. But you might be wondering, how affectionate are reptiles? Today, I'll tell you. Cue the intro. So the first thing to remember is that these animals are not the same. Realistically, a mammal and a reptile don't have the same capacities in the brain, right? The areas of the brain are different and stuff like that. So, of course, we're not talking about the same level of affection, but there is still affection, and we're gonna go over which of my animals are the most affectionate today. So, I hope you guys are ready to learn, and I hope that if you guys are looking for a cool reptile, you guys might draw some inspiration from this list, because these are definitely the ones that are most likely to cuddle with you on the couch. Of course, starting with the classic, the inevitable, the always breathtaking, even though quite common, bearded dragon, right? So I won't spend a lot of time on this one because obviously everyone knows the bearded dragons are quite cuddly and they enjoy spending time with their owners and stuff and they like the little pets on their head and whatever. Right, look, he's closing his eyes because he likes it, right? And oftentimes we'll bring him upstairs, we'll load up a movie and he'll just sit on our lap and climb up our shoulders and all that stuff, right? And he'll not watch the movie, but he'll watch the movie with us, right? Now they don't come when they're called, but I guess you could maybe train them to do that with food or whatever, but they can do some pretty cool stuff with food, like going to chase around the room and then they could be walked on a harness and stuff like that, you know? So they're quite cuddly and bearded dragons are definitely not an animal you want to overlook when you think about affection in reptiles. Whoa, 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 hold on a minute. I'm so sorry to interrupt your content, but did you know that 91.4% of you are not subscribed? I know, it seemed a bit high for me too. Please help me correct that statistic, and let's get back to the video. Next up, number four on the list is a ball python. Now, I know it's not really original, and they're, they're cuddly, but they're not super personable, I guess. But they do act as a pretty cuddly and affectionate animal, right? Because they enjoy being on you. Granted, it might be for the heat, right? But they, are, they, they will enjoy spending time with you and uh, being like on a couch or whatever, watching TV and stuff, you can get them out for hours and they will enjoy themselves. Now, granted, they're not like supposed to get out every day or multiple times a day or to be too stressed or whatever, so keep your activities to a minimum, kind of, but they're really, really good still. Like, if you live in a hot area, you could take it out on your porch and like drink a margarita or whatever, right? And have them just chilling in the sun or whatever, or if you made like a series of poles or dangling bits in your living room, you could just put them up there or whatever and like have them climb around and like as long as you supervise them, they'll enjoy being out and stuff. And if they ball up or something, then you can have them pretty much like in your hoodie pocket or whatever when they're younger, right? And they will enjoy being in there. So they're pretty cuddly. And obviously this is Mike. He's really cool. Mike Wazowski. And he's our education animal, so we do the birthday parties and stuff with him and he is absolutely fantastic with the kids, right? And they, they do enjoy being handled and stuff, so ball pythons are the number four, even though they're a bit boring, but the ball python. Number three is a bit of a different one, because you can't really cuddle with it, but they are pretty affectionate. We are talking about tortoises. Now, this is Sahara, our sulcata tortoise, and she is a baby, of course. She doesn't really enjoy being picked up or whatever, but we'll take her out of her hide so that you can see her. And she is absolutely great. As you can see, she's still quite small, but she's already so cute. Look at that gorgeous tortoise right here. Now, tortoises can be affectionate in which that they will come see you for food or scratches or whatever when they're older. If you wanted to like have a big pen outside, every time you'll go and do stuff in the pen, your tortoises should come to you and be like, hey, what's going on? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, I love you, what's up? Do you have food for me? Right? So they're pretty cool and definitely not an animal that you can chill with on the couch, but definitely an animal that will give you somewhat affection over its lifespan. And that goes with pretty much every tortoise that I've ever worked with. Like I've worked with red foot tortoises and those animals are just so nice and so personable and they they feel like they love you, right? I don't know if you could use the word love because scientists might completely disagree with what I'm saying, but it really does feel like they love you. You need more water, girl. But anyway, yeah, even if it's unconventional, number three will be every tortoises. I group them all together now. 
It's my channel, I do what I want. Sorry, me again. I promise this is the last time I'll interrupt your content, but we just launched our brand new website for our Zoo to You experiences. So if you're in the Ottawa Gatineau region, don't hesitate to visit mysticanimals.com. That's www.mysticanimals.com. Now back to the video. Now, if you thought my number three was unconventional, I'll blow you guys away with a number two. Edgar, my Savannah monitor, is one of the most affectionate reptiles that I keep. Of course, he's huffy, right? He huffs a lot, but he doesn't mean anything by it, right? He is really one of the nicest lizards that I have in this house. He really likes being on us and spending time outside of the enclosure and stuff. He'll never bite. He's just not the type of lizard to want to bite you, but he really huffs a lot, right? Which might make him seem less friendly, but he's really friendly. Like, he'll never bolt. He'll never want to bite you. He'll never want to whip you, right? He's just a little uncertain when he's in the air, right? And sometimes when things are new, he huffs, right? So it's not really, really a difficult lizard. Uh, honestly, we watch more movies with him than with any other animal in this house, other than like the cats and whatever, right? But this animal comes upstairs all the time, cuddles with us on the couch, or even on the bed, right? I've done YouTube shorts where I put him on the bed and stuff. He is not a trouble at all. And that might not be the case for every Savannah monitor, of course, but for this guy, it is. He's my number two. Mm -hmm. And I love you, right, Edgar? You're the best. And number one is, no, I'm kidding. It's not the iguana. Here's, here's number one. This is more like it, right? This is Cherry the Tegu, and you guys knew it would end like this, right? He is my most affectionate reptile, of course. He is still a reptile, so he's not affectionate like a dog, but he's pretty much a hairless dog, right? So we have been free roaming him, and he's been fantastic with it, so it's not really a thing of we had to do anything in order for him to be good. We just had to pretty much tegu proof our entire house, because otherwise he's able to go under everything and whatever, but as soon as you get all of the environment safe for them, they become really, really good animals. And I wouldn't say that with every tegu in the world, right? Some tegus are definitely really, really aggressive, but this guy, it's like he was raised by a bunch of clouds and he came out soft as heck. So of course, you know this is gonna be my most affectionate reptile. I hope you guys knew that already. For those of you who are OG, you definitely knew that. But for those of you who are new, don't necessarily expect any tegu to be like this. It's just my only word of advice because some of them can be very angry. Not to say that they're not tameable, but some of them are really hard to tame. Like harder than Kyle probably because they're more like nippy and more like aggressive and defensive kind of like an iguana actually but anyway that's it with cherry i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please remember to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button because it really helps us out also there's a little qr code that's going to appear somewhere i don't know where but you can scan that and it will bring you directly to the discord server which is the mystic animals inner circle and that is where everything happens we will let these guys know before anybody else, all of our plans, all of our new videos, everything. They're aware of everything. They even knew about the dog like two weeks before the rest of you guys. So it's free, it doesn't cost anything. Also, you guys can talk to us and do conversation stuff. We have lovely conversations there and it's fantastic. So maybe consider joining the Discord or hitting the subscribe button. Either way, we love you guys and this is all the time I have for today. I love you, peace. Thank you so much for checking out this video, everybody. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. And if you really loved it, why don't you subscribe? It's free, you know?